Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome once again to Watching Chickies. Now here, on day 26 of streaming. And we're glad to have all of you with us once again. I hope, I hope all of you out there are having a lovely day. And welcome to those of you here with us live, and those of you who are watching a little bit later on YouTube. I hope you are all doing well. And hello again, weirdest man. Always lovely to have you with us on the stream. And there's Kagome's new favorite perch right on top of the water dish. She does love her new little flight ability. Yes, you do, Kagome. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. Dad's here for you. Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of blanket playtime next. Hey, Kagome. Kagome. Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Tap, tap, tap. Not right now. You like your little perch? Are you going to jump? There you go. So, for those of you just tuning in and have might not seen this broadcast before, welcome, welcome. We are watching chickies, and uh, we just kind of watch the lives of these three young chickens as they go about their little daily routine. We've been watching them ever since their first day of life, and now they're 26 days old. Ah uh, yes, hopefully the stream doesn't freeze today. Occasionally we have issues with our pan. But, you know, in that case, um, our usual policy is just to start another stream. And then we usually have a two-parter. And Kagome here, our Ona Godori, just wanted to come and say hello to everyone. Hello, Kagome. You are such a good flyer. You are. Why, well, I guess now is as good a time as any for a little bit of blanket play. Oh my. Oh my zoomies. And come here, come here, my brave heart. Yes, zoomy time with Kagome. Lovely. Oh, and our little Stormy, I didn't forget about you. Come here. It's okay. There you go. Back with your friends again. And you are all getting so big. Look at all of those new adult feathers just growing and just really blossoming. And they do love their little bit of play here on the blanket. Oh, and Kagome loves her zoomies. And hello again, Surima. Oh, hello, Braveheart. You always love to go right on the edge. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, my. A little whirlwind of wings. And happy little cheeps from these chicks. And Stormy, annoyed NYC, says hello. And Stormy is being quite a little peeper today. Yes, you are. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I know you wish you could sort of flap like the others, but you are a silky. It doesn't quite work that way for you. But I bet that you... I know, I bet that they're really, really jealous of how soft and fuzzy you still are. So, you know, you both got pros and cons. <gasps> what is it? What is it, my brave boy? There you go. And if you listen carefully, you could sort of hear the differences between all of their little peeps. Oh, Alejandro Lowe's. Hello there, in London. We were planning on going to London later this year, but our plans have changed. Since we're here in the U.S., well, I think travel is largely out of the question, probably until 2022 at this rate. Oh, and hello, Chico0912 from Spain. I have a friend that lives in Madrid. 
Oh, and hello, Oravon in France. Oh, and all of these guys are having a lot of fun just playing around. Ooh, little zoomies with Braveheart and Kagome. Oh, dear. So, for those of you who might not know, all three of these guys are chickens. And they are all 26 days old now. The striped one is our Onagadori, named Kagome, which is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken. Over here, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart, who's having a little bit of playtime with Kagome. And right here, we have our sweet little Silky, named Stormy, who's just kind of watching the others play and is saying, hey, why are you guys running around so much, huh? Why are you running around? Oh, dear. Well, all of these little chickens are just 26 days old. They're not even old enough yet to lay eggs. And that happens when they're about six months old. And little Stormy, who just had a little yawn, does have fuzzy little legs and will be covered in fuzzy feathers her whole life because that's what silkies are, are like. And I have had many people call me the Bob Ross of chickens. And you know what? I just see that as a bit of an honor. Yes, I love these little chickens. And Kagome is full of such energy. Yes, that's your reflection, Kagome. Are you going to give it another peck? Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not quite sure of that reflection thing. You know, that is your perch. Well, for those of you interested in my narration, I have uh, one episode of... Um, a little narration series I've put up on our YouTube page, which is called Watching Chickies. And, uh, yeah. There's a link to it in my profile page, along with a link to our Patreon and to, um, our Instagram. Oh, and Kagome, you're getting too close. There's nothing in the garbage can today. Oh, and Slum Levin, thank you. For the gold award, we get a few more minutes of the broadcast today now. Lovely. More time together. And uh, WW Witch Welsh asks, are they all silkies or different breeds? Um, only our little gray one here is a silky. The black one is our Ayam Samani. And the striped one is our Onagadori, which is an endangered Japanese breed. And yes, catch 3387, these are our little peep squad. Just having some fun, running about on their blanket. Usually, you know, they're just in their brooder. Hanging out, at taking naps, eating, drinking, and just having a good time as they're growing up. But we do like to have them out every once in a while to sort of stretch their legs. And they are getting quite a bit bigger. Ooh, a little chicken sneeze there with Kagome. And uh, Moonshine S. Uh, the plan is to um, start transitioning them to their coop outside in our yard, which is nice and fenced in, uh, when they are about six weeks old. So that is um, in about two and a half weeks from now. So there's still a little bit of time. And all of these chickens are um, quite lovely. And um, because we do use sand in our brooder, um, it actually makes it so they don't really smell. Um, it's quite easy to clean up after them with just a little scooper about twice a day. And um, linked to the force, what made me decide to raise chickens? besides the fact that they are absolutely adorable. Well, you know, I had an uncle that raised animals and birds when I was growing up, and that was quite fascinating to me. 
Um, I had a few pets growing up, never birds. Um, I had some guinea pigs, gerbils. We had a, um, a family dog. I even had a bearded dragon when I was a teenager. But you know, after years of research, well, months of research and years of wanting to get these chickens, we saw our opportunity and we just, well, we took it. And 26 days later, these little guys are doing just swell. Oh, yes. Ooh, you're starting to learn to use your perch there, Kagome? Lovely. And now, for all, any of you who are just watching, these are three chickens. The black one is our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. The gray one, just kind of chilling out there, is our little Silky, named Stormy. And then here, we have our very frisky Onogodori, named Kagome which is an endangered Japanese breed. Oh yes, we could definitely pet the chickies, though Kagome is in our zoomy mode. Hello. You see the friendliest right here that usually loves just to come into my hand is my little Braveheart. Ooh, ooh, dear Braveheart, yes. Dad's giving you a little cuddle. Oh, and catch 3387. Thank you for the Platinum, for the Peep Squad. It is much appreciated, and we definitely get a bit more time for that. Ooh, fluffing up there from Braveheart. Hello, my son. Hello. Oh, and Frost Sparked. Yeah, you know, everything poops, and that includes little chicks. And, um, you know, with, the, with just having them do blanket playtime... It's pretty easy just to throw it right into the wash after their play. And uh, using sand in the brooder makes it quite easy just to use a scoop to get rid of any little excess bits. Um, Casus asks, do they eat water watermelon seeds? Well, I have never tried giving these guys watermelon seeds. I'm not sure if that is a healthy treat for chickens. I know they do love watermelon. Um, not, not that these guys have had them, but I do know chickens in general like watermelon. I'd have to do a little bit of research. No. But these birds are definitely going to be our uh, family and friends for life. There is no danger of these birds ever being eaten. They are not for food. Though in the future, if they do donate a few eggs, we will not say no. Um, Delta Z asks, is it tedious to take care of birds? Um, not really. Um, as long as you have a lot of um, the prep work done, you have all of their supplies, um, you make sure that you're following your local laws and regulations, um, you know, they can really take care of themselves most of the time, but if you want them to be friendly, you know, one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you play, and you handle, and you pet your chicks. And that way, you know, they really like you. They want to be with you, they like snuggling with you, and, um, yeah. Ooh, a little chicken sneeze there from Braveheart. Oh, dear. Um, Amar721 asks, do they fly? Um, at the moment, uh, Kagome likes doing little brief flights and occasionally jumps to my arm. It's a nice little trick that she has. Um, Braveheart does do some flapping and uh, some occasional short flights. But, you know, he's not as eager to do that as Kagome. And because our little Stormy is a silky, um, she can't really fly at all. And uh, MDFW7 asks, how long have you raised chicks for? Well, these are our first chicks. Um, so, 26 days. Well, Wedge 21, it makes it a lot easier to raise chicks um, if you're um, hand raising them and they've sort of um, imprinted on you from day one. 
Um, you have to make sure, you know, that you hold them at least a few times a day. You know, you give them little pets, they hear your voice, and then they don't really want to run away when they see you. They kind of, um, at that point, view you as their sort of adoptive parent. Oh dear, Snake of Clan. Ooh! Well, like I was saying before, Kagome does occasionally like to jump onto my arm, especially when I am not giving her snuggles. Oh dear, Kagome, I'm sorry. Was I talking too much? Here. Come onto my leg, and Daddy will give you snuggles. Yes. I'll give you snuggles, and we'll take a look at Braveheart here. You always love going on the edge. And Snicket Clan, I'm sorry that you had to give up your chickens. That's a sad bit of news. But you know, that that's always one of the reasons you should look up um, your local rules and regulations so you don't really get into issues like that. Because it's such a tragedy when you get separated from your loving animals. Oh, I think Braveheart wants to join us. Braveheart, do you want to jump onto Dad's arm? Can you do it? Can you do it? Okay, I could do this. Here you go. I know, Kagome, you get a little bit jealous, but let's see. Let's see. Oh my, oh my. A sleepy stormy over there. And hello there, Kagome. Hello. Such a lovely talkative bird today you are. Yes, you are. And I just love how beautiful the onagodori is. The lovely striping, almost sort of like chipmunk-like here on her. And she might get a bit fussy sometimes, but you know, she really likes pets. And she got a little bit startled because Braveheart just insisted on jumping on my arm. You know, this was supposed to be Kagome daddy time, but now Braveheart's insisting on some snuggles as well. Oh dear. Yes, these birds are quite, quite affectionate. Oh dear. Oh, thank you, Robin the Wolf. Yes, many people have been calling me the Bob Ross of chickens, and you know what? I like that. That's quite a nice compliment. And for those of you just joining in who might not have seen before, welcome to Watching Chickies, where we just kind of watch the life and development of three young chickens. Uh, right here on my lap, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. We have our Onagodori, named Kagome. And chilling out there on the chair is our little Stormy, who's having a little sleep right now. And all of these guys are now 26 days old. And all of them are, are members of our family and friends for life. So they will never be anybody's dinner. All of these guys, hopefully, will be living long, healthy, and happy lives. And as you can see, they're quite friendly little birds. There we go. There we go. Yes. And the chickens can be surprisingly snuggly. Especially when you hand raise them like this. Yes. Yeah, Kagome. You're having a good day, aren't you? A little bit of pet from Dad. And you are just set. Oh dear, a little chicken sneeze. Oh my. There you go, nice and comfy. Oh, Red Rust 21. Congratulations on your chicks that are four months old. Yes, it is quite lovely to see your little chickens just grow up before your eyes. And we've been streaming these guys since day one. So for any of you guys who are interested, and seeing what they look like from that point and seeing them grow before your eyes, you can always join us on our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. There's a link to it on my profile. And you know, for some people, it can be a bit of fun. 
Oh yeah, Kagome. Oh yeah. And as you can see, her adult feathers are really coming in on her back. And I really love just the sort of striped pattern that they have. Very distinctive. Oh, and Alex Fio, thank you for the It's Cute Award. And SN Valens asks, did you name her after Inuyasha? That's all you can think of. Well, actually, yes. Um, my partner, Lauren, um, one of her favorite um, old animes is Inuyasha. And, uh, you know, we felt it would be the right name for this little chick, especially because she's an Onagadori, which is a Japanese breed of chicken. And all of these chicks are quite wonderful and snuggly. Aren't you, Braveheart? Yes, my son. You have such a lovely comb coming in, my little Klingon warrior. There you go. There you go. So we broadcast this stream every day around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the east coast of the, of the United States in the nutmeg state of Connecticut. Oh, and Stormy, are you waking up over there? Don't worry, I'll give you a little dead time in a bit. There you go. Oh, well, see, Salty, um, if you ever get cut off, uh, one good way of following me is to uh, follow my account here on Reddit. Or, you know, you can always follow um, our YouTube page, um, walk, uh, which is called Watching Chickies. And uh, Cabbage Nerd, thank you for the Wholesome Award. It is much appreciated. There you go. There you go. Lovely. Lovely. Oh. Oh, we're getting some cheeps from Stormy. So, Kakome, let's go see how Stormy's doing. I know you wanted daddy time, but you don't want Stormy to get lonely. So, here. There you go. Go see Stormy. And come on, my son. Here we go. There we go. Ooh, you don't want to leave yet, do you? I know, I know. Oh dear, Braveheart. Oh dear, fine, I'll give you a few more pets. They can be a little bit needy sometimes. Oh dear, oh dear. And Kagome, I see you there. You know, Stormy's awake. She could use a little cuddle. Oh, yes, P38. Um, I have been sad at times, and, you know, coming up to the chickens is always a perfect solution to feeling a little bit better. It's hard to stay mad, sad, or bad when you're just looking at a happy little chick. Ah, Zoomer V2. I hope that your chicks at five weeks old are doing well. And Kagome, I know, I know. Good, good, good. Yes, go to Stormy. Have a little snuggle. Lovely. And yes, Code Static, their feet definitely have grown over the past few days. Now their need for cuddling definitely has grown as well. Oh my. You just refuse. To move, Braveheart. And I think our little Kagome is getting a little annoyed. But I think Stormy's just happy Kagome's near her again. Hello there, Stormy. Are you having a lovely day? Oh, your lovely fuzzy feet have gotten even fuzzier. Oh, dear. You know, you two make quite the pair. Hens of a feather flock together. But Kagome, Kagome and Stormy are forever. There you go. Yes. Oh, and uh, Kirill 
Opa says that they love Stormy's pants. Yes, that they are like a fuzzy pair of pants, aren't they? Oh my. Oh, and The Walking Dead, um, we have not done today's weigh-in yet. Well, we have a bit of time. Um, one of the things that we do to sort of um, ensure that these chicks are, um, you know, proceeding along in a healthy manner is we do daily weigh-ins to ensure that they are eating enough and that they are all growing at a good rate. Oh my. And you guys certainly are being good today, aren't you? No falling in the trash or anything. That's good. That's good. So Stormy today is pretty good. Um, I've just given a few more pets to some of the other chicks today because they've really needed it. And, you know, they've been kind of insistent upon it in Braveheart's case. They can, they can occasionally get a little bit jealous if one of the others is getting pet, and they aren't getting pet. Oh my. Oh! That's a lovely little zoomy there, Stormy. Lots of little flapping. Lovely. Yes. There's a little heated conversation going on there with Kagome and her reflection. Did you like your reflection there, Kagome? Are you falling in love with yourself? And uh, PewDiePie Stupor. Uh, no, I do not sell chickens. Though I do let you guys um, watch them for about 45 minutes to about two hours a day. Oh, lovely. Um, Onimar asks... Are these the same chicks from, like, three weeks ago? Um, if you were watching our stream three weeks ago, then yes. Uh, we've been broadcasting um, every single day for now uh, 26 days. Right there, Braveheart? And you guys have grown quite a bit every single day. So when they first arrived, they did arrive in a little um, shipping box because they arrived as live chicks. Uh, the U.S. Postal Service has been delivering live chicks through the mail for about 90 years. And these guys all arrived safe and sound from a place called Feather Lover Farms in California. They went from being West Coast birds to East Coast birds in one night. There you go. Well, Soulless Ginger 316, I hope your last 30 minutes before work are nice, calming, and relaxing. And uh, we just have these uh, three chicks, heaters and handles. These are our first three chicks. Our little Braveheart here, losing a yawn of some money. Our little Stormy there, who's a silky. And our Onagodori, named Kagome, who is an endangered Japanese breed. And I love ice cream, 9355. Um, these are our first chicks. Um, we haven't had any in the past. No, I've had friends and family that have raised chickens in the past. And we've done quite a load of research before getting these guys. And PewDiePie uh, Stuber asks, do they bite? Um, you might get the occasional little peck at first from a chicken, you know, as they're learning who you are, what you are. Um, but no, um, they don't really bite me. Um, they might occasionally attempt to prune me, especially if they get up on my shoulder. But other than that, they just kind of see me as a member of the family, and they don't try to hurt me. And all of these guys are members of our family and friends for life, so they are not being raised for food, though we wouldn't say no to a few eggs in the future. And yes, these are definitely um, sort of 
unique breeds to have here in the United States, and I like being able to show a larger audience the sort of more unusual chickens. Oh, thank you. Yes, Lauren got me these uh, Star Wars pajamas just a little while ago, and you know, they're quite nice and comfy. And uh, Slothmaster592 asks, when do I stream? Uh, we stream here on Reddit um, every day, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you know, uh, we also upload all of these streams later to our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. And all of these chickies definitely do love to cuddle. What do you say, Braveheart? Yeah? Oh, yes. And Kagome is just a little bit jealous right now. I'm sorry, Kagome, but we were snuggling before. <gasps> little Stormy! What would... What's... What did you do? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Stormy. Oh, dear. And Kagome... Oh, I... Oh, I have to go get Stormy now. Come, come, come. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Onto the chair. Braveheart, onto the chair. No, not back onto my leg, Kagome. I... Oh. Oh, dear. The problem with having three little chickens at once. Oh, dear. Hold on, everyone. Oh, hold on. I need to use both hands now. Both hands. Come on, little chicks. Come on. Back in. There we go. Oh, hello, little Stormy. I'm sorry. You wanted to see all of us so bad that you pushed Kagome right off the chair. I mean, she managed to get to me, but, but still, are you all right? Oh, dear. I didn't mean to make you jealous, little Stormy. Oh, dear. Lovely little Stormy. You get your dad time now, okay? There you go. I know a tumble is always scary at first, but you came out all right. Lovely. Lovely. There you go. There you go. Oh, your lovely fuzzy feet. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. You can sit down, Stormy. Oh, you're talking to the others? Oh, dear. And Pickles Nickel 2000 says that they love you, Stormy. And I love you too, Stormy. You are a lovely, fuzzy little chick. And so cute. Such a little floof. An integral part of our little peep squad. There we go. Yeah, it sounds like the owners are eating right now. You know, you probably should be eating as well, Stormy. We want to make sure that you are nice and healthy. And, uh... The throwest of away asks, what kind of bird is this? Well, this is a little silky chicken. Oh, where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go, Stormy? Are you trying to cuddle? Oh, she's trying to cuddle against my stomach. Oh, dear. She's a little bit needy right now. And right now, down here, we have our striped onagadori named Kagome. And we have... Our Ayam Samani Braveheart just eating and kind of chilling out together. And they make quite the lovely pair as they are doing a little bit of chasing right now. They were eating quite a bit, but I think Braveheart saw a little bit of feed that he wanted to try to steal from Kagome. They occasionally like to play a little bit of keep away. And we just have these three chicks. Our little Silky, named Stormy, 
our black Ayam Samani named Braveheart, and our striped Onogadori named Kagome. And, uh, sorry if I mispronounce this. Uh, Kijer, Sti say this. Uh, thank you for the gold. And all of our chicks are having a lovely day today. And Tall Ghost, XO, says hello to all of you little chicken babies. Oh, you are all having a good time. Kagome is doing a little bit of wiping to her beak and just a little bit of stretching right there. Bravehearts eating, almost like always. And little Stormy here is just cuddling up against me. Yeah, I know, Stormy. I know. Everything is fine. It's okay. It's okay. She's a little bit shy today. Oh, dear. And yes, Kagome is definitely a fancy little girl. But you can't really blame her. She is an onagadori. An endangered Japanese breed. That was mostly originally bred just because of the very long tails that the roosters have. Um, I believe that there are only 250 breeding pairs left in Japan. And the... Uh, the roosters of, of the uh, breed are known for having tails that could go out to be about like 18 to 20 feet in length. Ah, oh, there you go. And in a few minutes, we are going to be uh, doing their sort of daily weigh-in to make sure that, um, you know, they're nice and healthy. And then we're going to be giving them a little bit of a treat. We're going to be giving them some yogurt, which they all quite love. And uh, heaters and handles. Um, generally speaking, if you were to buy a full-grown onagadori, that would probably be quite expensive. But when you're getting a baby chick, those expenses come way, way down. Oh, and uh, Derpiler Pa Ding Dong says... Um, I love you and your little chickies, and gives us a gold. And thank you for the gold. Um, Slothmaster592 asks, are they all girls? Well, um, they're less than six weeks old, so it's a little bit hard to tell. But from uh, Kagome's um, uh, tail shape, we believe that she is probably a hen. Uh, from the little comb and the sort of attitude and weight that um, Braveheart has, we believe Braveheart is going to be a rooster. And our little Stormy here is being so shy today. Oh, look at that fuzzy butt. Um, is probably going to be a hen. So hopefully it stays at that ratio. Oh, yes, chick chickens can be quite worth it. And I feel like they're especially friendly when, you know, you get a smaller little flock than like this, and you get to hand-raise them, and they really get to know and love the humans around them. And uh, the throw a step away asks, is Stormy younger than all of the others? Uh, no, Stormy is the exact same age as the other chicks, but um, the silky breed... Is, is smaller than the other two. And uh, today, generally, the chickens have been pretty good. Um, Kagome is now making it a little bit of a habit to fly up to the side of the brooder and look to see what I'm doing when I'm in the living room with her. But, you know, she's not venturing outside the brooder. She just likes to see what's going on outside. Yes, and uh, our little Braveheart does enjoy eating, which I think is one of the reasons why Braveheart is our largest little chick so far. Um, the Oh, the first Hanar Spectre, Mass Effect, lovely series. Um, yes, um, there are some chicken breeds that are more affectionate than others. 
um, you know, but um, my favorite chicken breeds on, on the Citadel are definitely the Ayam Samani, the Onagadori, and the Silky. And that was an in-joke for anyone who plays Mass Effect. Having a nice lay down there, Kagome? Yeah? Well, we're going to definitely have to clean that towel tonight for you. Oh, my. Oh, yes, baby chicks can be so lovely, the almighty. Um, P38 asks, uh, when they are older, will you breed them? Um, you know, if a Braveheart does end up being a rooster, we're not against, uh, possibly getting a few little hybrid chicks from our little flock in the future. But at the moment, um, you know, we're just focused on making sure these guys live long, healthy, and happy lives. And, uh, Kamato-kun asks... Um, what's the hardest part of owning chickens? And I believe it's just making sure that, um, you know, you follow all the local laws and regulations in your area and that you get um, enough supplies to make sure that they are going to be nice and happy. Getting the brooders, the heat, the heat lamps, uh, your food dish, the water dish, UV light, just everything ready for them. And uh, VR Potlo asks, where's the rest of the crew? Well, right here, we have a sleepy little Stormy who's being a little bit shy today. Who's just kind of cuddling up against Dad and is being a little bit hard to film today. Well, that's all right, Stormy. You could have your daddy time. Lovely little chick. And just uh, for all of you who are tuning in, um, these chickens, these three lovely chickens, are three um, different breeds, our Silky, our Ayam Samani, and our Onigadori. And they are members of our family and friends for life, so they are not for eating. Oh, Michael Green 25. Lovely to see you again, and Memento Mori. Oh, yes, Stormy is a little bit of a shy one today. But that's all right. We all occasionally want a little bit of time to ourselves. Fortunately, we have our two other chickies just to look at. So, Mimari, uh, Mimarab asks, which breeds are these? You know, we have our little silky here. We have our striped Onagadori right there in the corner, and our black Ayam Samani. And all of them are lovely little chickies. And for those of you just interested in a little bit of narration, and for um, these earlier streams, we do have our uh, YouTube page called Watching Chickies, which there's a link to in our profile, or you can just search for Watching Chickies. And we also have an Instagram page where we occasionally post pictures. And we do have a Patreon as well. And thank you for our generous Patreons, uh, Michael and Kate, who help these streams uh, come to you guys every single day starting at 12 p.m. on Reddit. And then we later upload them to YouTube. So for you people on YouTube, I am not just speaking to myself. I am actually responding to um, everyone who's watching us live on Reddit. Oh, and Memento Mori, yes, Braveheart's tail feathers are starting to get quite lovely and magnificent. Give us the twirl, son. Lovely. Lovely. Wow, we're glad to have you with us. 
Nima Rap. Uh, Michael Green 25 asks, will you try to, to stream on Twitch too? Um, you know, I don't know if there's um, a call for it. I guess we might try to in the future. Yeah, that might be all right. Uh, we Boo Assassin 530 asks, what colors do they come in? Um, I know little silkies like Stormy come in about, I think it's about five or six different colors, gray being one of them. Um, there are about three different colors that Onigadori are in. But um, for Ayam Samani, um, their characteristics um, are that they are completely black. So they, you only really see just different sort of slight variations on black. Oh, and a little bit of water there for Kagame. A little beak full and then head back. So to throw us the other way, um, yeah, I definitely play with them. I, uh, you know, put them on the couch. Um, I pick them up. We uh, snuggle with them. And, you know, we do have a lot of fun together. Oh, and Alicia, Alicia RS18, thank you for the subscription. I hope you enjoy all of the videos that we post. Um, so far, the, um, for the Almighty asks, are baby chickens attracted to specific colors? You know that they like rings. Um, I haven't noticed them being attracted to any particular color so far. So I'm unsure. And Radagast asks, what accent do you have? I am not completely sure. I uh, was once told I have an Atlantic accent, which is supposedly a um, hybrid version of sort of UK English and uh, Northeast American. Um, I was originally born in Tokyo. I am a, a dual citizen of the UK and America, so your guess is as good as mine. And how, and Sir Raisin asks, how long until the chicks are fully grown? Well, um, if you count fully grown as the sort of age in which they start producing eggs, that would be when they are about six months of age. And uh, Little Tea Leaf, 1115, asks, do you plan on keeping them indoors, or will they have a coop outside? Uh, we have a coop, so that put them outside. What is it, Stormy? I'm sorry I wasn't petting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm petting. I'm petting. Lovely. Well, uh, so, uh, at about... Uh, Six weeks old, they're going to be going out into their outdoor coop. But you know, during the winter, we are likely going to be um, bringing that coop inside to our garage so they don't get too cold. So all of these chickens already do have names. The striped one is named Kagome. She's our Onagadori, which is an endangered Japanese breed. And then... We have our Ayam Samani there in black, named Braveheart. And then we have our lovely little Stormy here, who is our little poofball. You are. Who is our gray silky. And she's a little fussy baby today, aren't you? Aren't you? We had a little bit of a scare earlier when she actually pushed. Kagome off the chair, but Kagome managed to fly to my knee. Unfortunately, Stormy's little wings don't provide any lift, because all of her feathers are just too downy soft. And, um, Nick, no, no, no. These guys are members of our family and friends for life. They're not being raised for food, but, you know, we wouldn't say no to them donating a few eggs in the future. Uh, Kid Sociopath asks, do silkies have black bones, naturally? I have no idea if silkies have black bones. No idea. 
Oh, yes. The first Hanar Spectre. Silkies are, you know, a little funny looking, but they are just such lovely little birds that want nothing more than a cuddle from their, from their human. And they can find such happiness just being calm on a lap. They love little pets, and they can just be such a delight to be with. So, uh, Bloody Brood asks, how many chickens do you own? We just have these first three chickens. They're our first three chickens we've ever had, and you know, they have been a joy. And Arbitrator 06, um, we will probably do the weigh-in in about ten minutes or so. And that'll be a good point. Oh, and hello, February Monster. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, yes, Stormy. Yeah, that's going to keep cuddling you. I think little Stormy is having a lovely day today. Aren't you? Though you're not going to like it when we get to the weigh-in. You always give a little protest then. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There you go. So, um, Rogue Lady Cerulean, how difficult have your fluffy babies been to take care of? We did a lot of prep, uh, prep work over a few months before getting them. So, in all honesty, not that difficult at all. Uh, we use sand as a bedding, which makes cleanup. Um, pretty easy, only taking a few minutes. And in general, they've all been getting along so well. So it's all been quite a delight so far compared to some other pets that we've, I've had in the past. Oh, and the first Hanar Spectre. Thank you for the wholesome award. And Onogadori. Uh, Michael Green. Yep, you spelled it um, right there in the first in the first place. So in Japanese, it's um, o na ga do ri. So it's just five letters in hiragana. Uh, trap uh, trapezoid um, troglodyte. Yes, I have played some Final Fantasy games in the past. I believe my first one was Final Fantasy IX. That was quite a lovely game. And uh, Arl335 asks, what do we feed them? Um, they're still on their starter feed right now, which they'll continue to eat for about uh, 15 weeks. Oh, I'm sorry, Stormy. I had to adjust my glasses. They were falling down a little. Oh, well, I do know a little Japanese song I could sing to Stormy. Let's see, what, how, do, do I remember it? Zaita, zaita, tulipu no hanaka, naranda, naranda, akashiro kihiro, tono hana mite mo kirai na na. There you go. Oh, sleepy stormy. Lovely little silky. Um, so little tea leaf, uh, one 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 five asks, where did we order them from? Um, we got them from a place called Feather Lover Farms in California. And, uh, you know, we got them overnight shipped to us, and uh, they're a farm that specializes in some of these more unusual breeds of chickens. And bananas and pears, yes! This is our little silky chicken. Our little Stormy, just kind of chilling out here on my lap. Yes, Stormy, you're having a good time. And then over here, Ooh, hello guys. We have our striped Onogadori, named Kagome. And then we have our Yam Samani, named Braveheart. 
and all of them are just having a nice time here on their 26th day. Oh, our lovely little birds. And Harry Hodge, what's your favorite Star Wars? Well, you know, I'd have to go with the classic Empire Strikes Back. Though when I was a kid, uh, my favorite Star Wars film was Return of the Jedi. I might one time start a meditation podcast. I have had a few suggestions of that. Oh dear. Well, Stormy's hearing the honors start to get up. So you know what? I think now might be a good time for our weigh-in. Then I can give you guys a little bit of yogurt for a treat. I know. I know you don't like the weigh-in, Stormy. But I have you here, and you're all awake. Lovely. So let's see about Stormy's weight today. I know, my girl. I know. I know. Ooh, that was pretty good for you today. Ah, <gasps> Stormy, you got past a hundred. Oh, oh, such a good Stormy, a hundred and four. Oh, lovely. I was a little bit worried, but that was lovely. Six grams. That is great. Oh, dear. And the first Hanar Spectre. Yes, we do stream every day at noon. And good job, Stormy. Don't worry. We're going to get yogurt in just a minute after we weigh the other two. Oh, yes. I know you don't like the scale, but you were so good today. You were so good, and I'm going to give you extra yogurt. And let's see. Uh, yesterday... Kagome was 131 grams, and Braveheart was 140. So we shall see how they are doing today. All right. Who's up next? Is it going to be my brave boy? Come on, brave boy. You can do it. Oh, you're so good. You are the bestest boy. And you, oh, oh my, 150 Oh dear, 150 grams, oh my, that's uh, quite the increase there. Oh jeez, oh jeez Braveheart, you really have been eating. Okay, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you, there you go. Braveheart is so lovely. All right, Kagome. So we got some guesses in from the stream there. All the way from, uh, let's see, 142 from Memento Mori, Elephants 100 guesses 145, and Weirdest Man guesses 138. So let's see about Kagome. Yes, I know, Kagome, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Kagome. Kagome. Always such a little fuss. Oh. Oh, Kagome. Come here. Come here to that. No, 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 no. 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 Here, Kagome. Kagome. You've been on the scale before. I know it's not polite to ask a lady for her weight, but we're just trying to make sure you're... Oh. 140, 141, so I would say 140.5, so that is pretty good, 140.5, you almost put on 10, wow, that is quite a lot, Kagome, that is quite a lot, you know what, here, here, come on, there you go. Oh, and a lovely trick to end the day. There you go. Back with the honors. There you go. And I think all of you did so well today. 
with the weigh-in that we are gonna give you a nice bit of yogurt. Ooh, I see Bravehearts looking at me intently. <gasps> Stormy, quick! Oh, oh, Kagome, you took all of that. There's a little bit for you, Stormy. We'll get you some more. Oh, oh yes, Stormy, go get it, go get it. Kagome likes hoarding, oh dear. Oh dear. All right, I've got more, I've got more. Don't worry, don't worry. Look, look, Stormy, Stormy, quick, 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 before Kagome. Oh, Kagome. Ooh, that was a nice big crab there. Yes, whoa. And Kagome is always so forceful. There you go, there you go. Stormy loves yogurt. And yes, Moonscape 9, uh, a little bit of unsweetened yogurt is a nice sometimes treat for your chickies. Lovely. And February Monster, uh, occasionally, um, Gagame pinches my fingers a little bit while doing this, but the other two, generally, are very, very, um, careful not to give me a pinch. And Elephants 100, I'm pretty sure that, um, Kagome and Stormy are hens, and that Braveheart is going to be a rooster. But, you know, I could still be wrong. These are our first chicks, so I am nowhere near an expert at this point. There you go. Oh, that was a big, big bite from Kagome. Kagome has really developed a taste for this yogurt. <gasps> there you go. Oh my! Well, you know, Kagome, I can see why you might have gained 10 grams yesterday. Oh my! There you go. Even Braveheart's having some. Yes, you are, my son. There you go. You were just looking for the best bite, weren't you? You do love your yogurt as well. So, LC Vancouver, you know, as a kid, um, I saw my uncle raising chickens, and I, you know, had a little bit of a fascination with them. And during the quarantine, where my uh, work in the city, where I was being a professional background actor, has sort of been shut down because of the pandemic, I saw this as sort of my chance to try and, um, you know, make this dream sort of come true. Oh, Kagome, yeah, it does get pretty crazy. Oh, and I just put a little bit of yogurt on the side there. Oh, my. Kagome, she has yogurt fever. Oh, dear. You know, Stormy used to really love yogurt the most, but I think you might have overtaken her. Oh, my. Stormy, you want more? No, you want the, the stuff she spread on the side. Here, I spread some on the side for you. Oh. Stormy likes eating it right from the side of the container. Who knew? Lovely. Yes, though Stormy can get quite full of the yogurt way before the rest. I might give Stormy a little bit more yogurt tonight. But they do quite like petting, pecking the side there. So I'm gonna just spread a little bit more on the side of the container so they can have a little bit of fun. And uh, Black Hole, um, what inspired each of their names? Well, uh, Kagome was inspired by my partner Lauren's, one of her favorite animes, and the fact that she's an Onagodori, which is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken. Uh, Stormy was named by Lauren's little sister, and what, because uh, she kind of looked like a little living storm cloud. And Braveheart, well, Braveheart was named Braveheart because when we first opened the uh, box, when they came in through uh, the USPS, 
He jumped right out of the box, looked at me right in the face, and wanted to explore right away. So you know, the name Braveheart just kind of popped out of my mouth, and it really stuck. Um, ruddy Irish hem face. Um, so do you ever worry the Sulky is going to be bullied based on their size? Well, at the moment, um, I have been carefully sort of watching them, and they haven't really been bullying Stormy. Stormy mostly just kind of likes cuddling up to the other, um, little chickies, and hasn't really been fighting anyone. They're all getting along. They've really just accepted each other as their own little flock. Oh, well, thank you, Elephants 100. It is a joy to be able to do these streams with everyone and to just have a little bit of a chat every day with you all. And that was a little sneeze I heard from you, Stormy. Yeah. So talkative as you want to just peck at that spot. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, Arbitrator06 theorizes that Braveheart was uh, jumping out because I could not take away his freedom. But I think because Braveheart jumped out and stared at me right in the face right when he came out of the box, he imprinted on me more strongly than any of the other chicks. And that's why he, out of all the rest of them, is our bestest boy. He is always so lovely with us. And he doesn't put up much of a fuss ever. So, um, Elephants 100, um, if there's ever, like, bullying going around, you know, we'll try to take steps to stop that sort of behavior. But, you know, um, so far, everything is going quite well. Ah, the first Hanar Spectre asks, um, in your experience of chicks so far, do you see raising chickens as something that can get addictive? And in a year, I'll have a flock of 30 and not know how it came to this? Well, um, in my area, I am only allowed, I believe, I'd have to double check, but I think a maximum of eight chickens for a property my size. So I would never be allowed to go up to 30, otherwise I might have the local police on my case. But yeah, I could see some people getting um, a little bit addicted to raising chickens and having a whole lovely flock. As long as you have, you know, th enough space for them. And uh, where I live, I'm only allowed one rooster. And Six Piece Nuggets asks, how much do they eat? Well, you know, um, these days, because we took the top off of this section because Kagome was using it a bit too much as a roost and as a result there was getting a little bit too much poop on it. Um, I throw in about two or three handfuls of this a day. And yes, Elephants 100, eight chickens can be quite a lot of chickens. I think if I ever got to that much, I would have to definitely stop. Uh, the throwest of away. Um, yeah, one rooster. Um, that's just how local regulations go. Um, for any of you interested in raising backyard chickens in the residential area, you'll find that, um, you will have some very arbitrary laws uh, regarding chickens in your area. Um, largely that's brought to, um, you know, the local area's attention, through lawsuits, or by someone getting elected to a local council and getting a new law passed. Um, because, you know, some people complain about roosters. Um, roosters are actually outlawed in many neighborhoods, if you are just living in a residential property. So you have to be careful with these sort of things and sort of plan them out. And yes, Kagome is just kind of relaxing and doing a bit of preening. But in doing so, look at all 
of these lovely new feathers that she's showing us on her back. And I love it because it's just like a woodland character's cloak in the forest. It's like something out of, um, just like a Studio Ghibli film, almost. Oh, yes. You are such a lovely little bird, Kagome. And I love seeing our little silky Stormy eating with such passion. Good job, Stormy. 104 grams today. Lovely. Oh, well, thank you, Elephants 100. I do try to be a very responsible chicken owner. These guys depend on my good decisions to stay healthy and happy. And she is so itchy with all these new feathers. So much preening going on. Oh, oh, hello, Kagome, hello. Hello, yes, that's the camera. Do you want to say something to the world? Oh, yes? Yeah, sneeze? Anything other than sneezing? Yes, yes? Oh my. So, P38, um, you know, when they get to about six, eight, uh, six weeks, we plan on uh, transitioning them to the coop. And then after that, you know, they're just going to be living with us uh, for their whole lives. And hopefully they are long, healthy, and happy lives. Yes, I could definitely see Kagome sort of being the head hen of the group. And uh, Stormy, sort of the glue that holds them all together. And then Braveheart will be their little protector. And, um, JJ Pants, with lots of eights in your name. Uh, do they make a lot of noise when you try to sleep? Uh, no. Uh, when we turn out the light, we might get a few little cheeps of protest, but no. They all just then cuddle in their corner, and, uh, they go to sleep for the night. And Serima, yep, the plan is, uh, when they're going to their coop, we will still be doing these daily streams. Because even when you guys are a bit older, you know, I definitely still want to show you guys off to the world. Oh, Luck Foxo 33. You know, I think on occasion I have managed to put some of these chickies asleep with my voice. And Arbitrator 06, what will be their lifespan? Well, little chickies like this, hopefully at the very minimum will live to be about 12 years old. And hopefully, we'll live a lot longer than that. Oh, and Kijer Stee says this. Thank you for the platinum. I know you want to see more chickies today, and you're gonna now, because that's an extra 15 minutes. Lovely. And even when this time expires, you don't need to worry, guys, because we stream every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we upload these streams every day to our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. No, no, these chickens are way too young to sort of crow and wake us up in the morning. Usually, we wake them up by turning on the uh, light. Um, no, we don't worry about, um, Worried Calvin asks that, um, do I worry if they're getting enough heat during the night? Um, so now that they're a few weeks in, we've brought the temperature down in their brooder to about, um, 80 degrees, um, Fahrenheit. And, um, you know, you bring down the temperature about five degrees every week or so of their life, just to get them used to the lower temperatures. So we have the heat lamps on, we have thermometers going on, so it all stays pretty steady in there. 
And, um, Moonscape9 asks, how soft are they? Um, out of all of them, our little Silky Stormy is definitely the softest. The others are starting to get in, um, more normal, sort of like chicken-like feathers that are a little bit, um, harder to the touch, but, you know, they still love being cuddled. Um, Silky's feathers will always stay sort of downy soft, which also means that they'll never be able to do the little sort of short flights that the others can manage. And all three of these chickens, for people tuning in, are um, different breeds. The gray one is our little Silky, named Stormy. The striped one is our Onagadori, named Kagome who is an endangered Japanese breed. And over here, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. And today, they are all 26 days old. And Elephant's 100. Oh, they love both me and Lauren. Um, you know, I have a feeling that um, Kagome kind of prefers Lauren. Uh, Braveheart kind of prefers me. And, you know, Stormy is pretty chill. Stormy is good with both of us. But I think they all kind of see us as their adoptive chicken parents. Ooh, double preening action there. Well, Elephant's 100, if they're plotting something, I hope it's just plotting how to have a nice and lovely life. So, Slothmaster, um, 952. So what happened was, for uh, chicks like these, they were hatched at Feather Lover Farms, and then they were overnight shipped to us. So we got them uh, the next morning. And um, so since then, we've had them for all 26 days of their life. And Dino Boy Luke asks, do chickens dream? I don't know, but sometimes I do see them make little twitches and movements in their sleep. So it's more than possible that they do have little dreams. Oh, you sleepy there, Braveheart? It's okay. I'm not judging. You can go to sleep. Are you being kept awake by stormy eating? Well, usually it's you who's doing all the tapping. Go ahead, Stormy. Eat your fill. You deserve it. Stormy went up by six grams today, which was marvelous. Oh, I bet all of these little chickies dream of food. Don't you guys? No, I think possibly on there first couple of weeks of being with us. Oh, and that's lovely, Gagome. You did a little bit of preening to Braveheart and yourself there. But I think in the first few weeks, they probably dreamt a little bit of the, uh, the box that they were shipped in. But I think they've recovered from that. Because they went right from the egg to the box. And then they saw us. And they probably heard a lot of people through the U.S. Postal Service as well, being surprised. And Moonscape9 asks, do I have any other pets? Uh, no. At the moment, we just have these three young chicks. Growing up, um, I had a family dog. I had guinea pigs, gerbils. I even had a bearded dragon when I was a teenager. But these are the first real sort of pets that we've had um, now in my adulthood. And they are quite lovely. I was worried for quite a while before they came in if I made the right decision. Was it too much responsibility? Would I get something wrong? But you know, once they arrived, this smile just kind of grew across my face that I sort of saw when I was walking past a mirror. And you know what? I haven't had any regrets.
So, occasionally you get, you know, chickens kind of snuggling next up, next to each other. Chickens do like to cuddle, especially at night when all three of them cuddle. It is quite a sight. Oh yeah, Elephants 100. Guinea pigs are also amazing pets. Um, kind of ironic as well, because they were originally bred um, just really as a food staple as well, much like chickens. Guinea pigs have very lovely purrs when they're happy. But I love these happy little cheeps as well. Ooh, a stretchy there by Braveheart. <gasps> Did you want to pet my son? Oh dear. There you go. There you go. My little cuddly Braveheart. So as adults, uh, Luck Foxo 33, they will be living um, mostly outdoors in their coop. But you know, if there ever gets to be any inclement weather or during the winter, we're thinking of just uh, bringing their coop into our garage or into one of our spare rooms, uh, depending on the sort of heat that they need. And a dino boy, Luke, asks, how would you describe their personalities? Well, I would say our little Stormy is pretty warm, but she can be a little bit aloof from the others at times. She does like a little moment of privacy. Um, Kagome definitely has a lot of pent-up energy. Um, and over here, our uh, lovely boy Braveheart um, does get along with both of his adoptive chicken parents. But, you know, does like to explore every once in a while. Yeah, they do kind of, their little chirps can sound a little bit. Like the sort of little guinea pig whistles that you hear. Oh, and Kagome is so itchy. She's actually sorting through her tail feathers. This is a good time to point out to you guys. That sort of fan tail appearance that she's developing with her tail feathers. And so far, this is our biggest clue that Kagome is going to be a hen. Because um, Onagadori roosters usually usually develop like one long, well, a couple, a few long flowing tail feathers that come out, whereas the females have that sort of fan tail look to them that don't grow out to be nearly as big. Oh yes, Memento Mori. <clears throat> a few hybrids of these chicks in the future would probably look quite lovely. Now, if uh, Kagome had turned out to be a rooster, I always chuckled at the thought of having a hybrid of a silky and an onagadori. Could you imagine if one turned out as a uh, rooster and ended up with a very long, fuzzy tail? It would be like growing its own sort of feather boa. Hey, guys. Have you had a good day today? I know you've been itchy today, Kagame. And I hope all of you guys out there have had lovely days as well. And just for those of you who might not have heard before, we do have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies, a Patreon as well, and an Instagram, all of which are there are links to on our profile page. And thank you to our wonderful Patreons that help these daily broadcasts come out, uh, Michael and Kate. You guys are awesome. Oh, happy little chicks. P38 asks, what would you do with Kagome's eggs? Well, assuming that they're not going to be fertilized, um because, you know, you can kind of check on that with a light. Um, you can actually, um, you know, see if there's some action going on in there. But um, 
If they're not fertilized, we might just use them for sort of baking purposes. Lauren does enjoy baking. Oh, and Dino Boy Luke asks, have um, I gotten some fan art of your chickies? Um, you know, there have been a couple posted on a uh, lovely little subreddit called um, uh, Stories for Baby Chicks, which I believe that um, there is a link to um, somewhere. And someone can provide that. And uh, plastic elephants know these chickies are members of our family and friends for life. We are not planning on eating these chickens. They are lovely little chicks, and we've been here with them every single day. Ah, uh, thank you for the link there, Michael Green, 25. Yes, that subreddit was Stories for Baby Chicks. Lovely. Oh, a few happy cheeps there from our little Stormy. Are you having a good day? Oh, a little sit down. Oh, are you guys hungry again? Oh my. Oh, Dino Boy Luke, that's all right for a little bit of off topic. Yes, um, My Hero Academia, that is quite a nice anime. Plus Ultra. Oh, lovely. Well, we're here in our last five minutes, and I'd like to thank all of you guys for sticking around with us. And just, you know, joining me in watching these three young chickens going through their day, and just having a nice little time. Oh, thank you, Memento Mori. Yes, I will be taking a nice long drink of water after this. I always need it. But fortunately, this is not a four-hour stream like we had the one time. So if Braveheart turns out um, to be a hen and one of the others turns out to be a rooster, that works out fine, because then, you know, we still just have one rooster. And, uh, but you know, so far it's all working out for us. And P38, I could speak a little bit of Japanese, I haven't lived there in a while. But, um, so I can understand more of it than I can really speak at this point. It's an odd sort of feeling. And elephants, what, 100? You know, one of the best things to do, um, you know, when you're unsure of your writing, is to just, you know, go ahead and write. The more you write, the better you get. And there's no point in waiting. That's why I make sure to write at least one short story every day. Weedersman, you just told me konnichiwa. And it is the afternoon, so that's appropriate. If it was nighttime, I would be saying konbanwa to you. And do you know what you say in the morning? Ohio gozaimasu. Well, there you go. A little Japanese lesson. Oh, lovely seeing you guys just eat together. Braveheart and Stormy. Family meal time. The biggest bird and the smallest. some stories in the future. 
And that's okay, weirdest man. I understood. Oh, lovely there, Stormy. You don't need to kick the food, you just need to eat. Alright guys, well, we're here in our last minute of, and a half, and it has been such a lovely time with you all. And maybe in the future, I will read a few stories on the stream, or, you know, just upload them to the uh, YouTube channel. That could also work. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys soon. Because... Tomorrow is only a day away, and we start again at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you guys for sharing a bit of your day, and I hope all of your days go wonderfully. Now, from our Ayam Samani Braveheart, our Onagadori Kagome, and our hungry, hungry little Silky Stormy, I'd like to say to you all, thank you for joining us here today on Watching Chickies. It's been a lovely time together with you all, and we look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the future. Alright guys, see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>